Some positive news on the vaccine rollout now. Mixing doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca and Pfizer vaccines generates a robust immune response against coronavirus. This is according to new research. The findings could allow flexibility in the UK and global vaccine rollouts, allowing people to receive whatever jab is available. Our science correspondent Tom Moore, uh, Thomas Moore joins me now. Um, Thomas, good to see you. This is an interesting development, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really interesting study, Ocean. It was done by the team that designed the AstraZeneca vaccine from Oxford University, and they looked at two doses of either the AstraZeneca vaccine or the Pfizer vaccine, as we're all getting at the moment, and they compared that against a mix-and-match approach, so you get one or other in the, as the first and the, and the second dose. And they found that the combination actually produced much higher antibody levels uh, than, than two doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, uh, alone. Uh, and the two doses of Pfizer still led the pack. But when you look at the T cells, this other arm of the immune system, again, it was the mix and match approach that proved best of all. And that's hugely significant. Perhaps it's a little bit too late for us here in the UK because most adults already had two doses. And certainly the chief medical, deputy chief medical officer, Jonathan Van Tam, uh, has said that uh, th th they won't be changing the, uh, the uh, rollout of, of the vaccine schedule here in the UK. Okay, but it could be applicable around the world. Of course, much of the world has yet to receive even a single dose of the vaccine. But significantly here, and this is the really interesting bit, the, the leader of the study said that this could be really important when it comes to a booster dose in the autumn, that if you've had two doses of AstraZeneca, then you might, get be, you might be better off with one of the RNA vaccines, Pfizer or Moderna, because that might lead to a much stronger response. And uh, the, the deputy chief medical officer said that this study could feed in to this decision over which vaccines you get as your third dose if it's needed.